Welcome back, Bills of the Red, to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today, I have a simple shulker box loader for you that will load up all your shulker boxes up completely with any type of item from any farm or any build you have. Now, this system is very easy to build. It is only four blocks deep, two blocks wide, and then five blocks tall. And the system has variable loading speeds. For example, if you have just hopper coming in one at a time, that's going to load the shulker box up at one times hopper speed. But you can also load up from a second angle like this, and that will give you double hopper speed loading. The system can be tiled right next to each other like so, so you can have one of these every two blocks because the system is too wide. But depending on the orientation, if you have one on this side and then take the other one and flip it onto this side, so the redstone's facing out either direction, you can make the system even more tileable. So you can either have like two next to each other like we have right here, you can still have two times hopper speed into each of these or the other option is if you are able to use both sides I have one two wide system right here I have another two wide system right here and on the other side it's the same thing but mirrored so that right here just in a straight down the line each one of these is a different shulker box loader and each one of these can have a different input so if you're building something with like an item filter that has one single output and it's in a straight line this would be the best orientation for the system now before we get into the tutorial i want to show you all how the system works because shulker loaders are super easy once you understand the basic mechanics behind it i'll throw some items in it so you can actually see the system running so right now i have a signal strength of 15 going into the side of this comparator now this comparator is on normal mode Basically what this means is until the comparator detects that this shulker box is completely full of items, then and only then will it turn on. When it turns on, that will turn off this redstone torch, which is running a line over here to the dispenser, and that is also going to the piston. So whenever it turns on, it's going to break the shulker box, then that's going to turn the comparator off because it can no longer detect a signal strength of 15 from that shulker box. And that will then allow the dispenser to turn on with the redstone torch. Now I have this hopper down one block. This is to make sure it doesn't take any items from the shulker box until it is completely full and is ready to be broken. Now in all my testings, I have not seen any issues with the piston breaking straight down and going into the actual hopper. But when it comes to actually putting it into practice in survival builds, then I would recommend actually like surrounding this area like this. I would even put a block up here, a block covering over here just to make sure the shulker box has no other option than to go straight down into that hopper. But just for a demonstration and to show you all how elegant and simple the system looks, I don't have anything there. But theoretically, you could leave no blocks there, and I haven't seen any issues with the blocks drop. Now, materialists and world download are in the description, like always. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So behind me, we can see this is our basic area. Like I said, it's four blocks deep, two blocks wide, and then five blocks tall. And that's counting our output chest. So our output chest is right here. And if we go two blocks above that and one more, this is our input block. This is where our shulker box will be that you can fit items into the entire system. So from this, we are going to come out one block to the side. And right here, we're going to have a dispenser facing in. So facing directly into our block right like so. And if we come two blocks above, break that first one, that's going to be a piston facing straight down. You can then break those two temporary blocks. We'll come to the back side of this emerald block, come back two blocks, go down one, over one, and over one, and then break that top block. So you have one block there, a little corner bracket. Right here, you're going to have a comparator, two bits of redstone dust, right like so. You're going to have a redstone torch facing off the side of this block. So off the comparator, redstone dust, torch like so. You're going to come down two blocks, have a block with redstone dust block right off here to the side, redstone torch, have another block, another redstone torch, then another block right on top of that, and redstone torch right there on the side. Now from here your system is basically done, you just need to have a hopper going into the output chest, a hopper going into the actual dispenser, there you're going to want to have a barrel or something full of a bunch of shulker boxes, these are already pre-filled just so you can see the system in action a little faster, but this is where all your empty shulker boxes will go. Then before we break our emerald block, go ahead and have one or two hoppers going directly into this emerald block. That's going to basically be what's loading in all our items. So all your item filters, they need to be feeding into these two hoppers or this one hopper just to make it so all those items go into the system. Now you're going to want to go ahead and break that block. In order to kickstart the system, go ahead and take a button, come to the back here 
where you have the comparator going into the redstone dust. Give that a quick little button push, and that should start your system up and running. So your empty shulker box should be placed, and then all you have to do is send a bunch of items in. So I have a bunch of water buckets. That's going to fill the system when it's completely full, break the shulker box, and that should end up in the chest below it. Now, what I would recommend, especially on survival worlds, is to go ahead and put some blocks around this to make sure that when the shulker box breaks, it has nowhere to go except directly in that hopper. Now, if you want to make this a tileable design, there is absolutely nothing different you have to do. The system is built the exact same way if you're going to tile it. Now, if you want to do the fancy system that has them every single block, it's the exact same thing, except instead we want the shulker box that we are loading to be right here where this block is. So if you think about the entire system flipped like this, it's a little tight, so I'm going to go ahead and break these just so I have a little bit more space to do. This is the block that we're breaking. So I'm going to come right up above it, have a piston facing straight down. This is the block we're breaking. That's going to be where the shulker box is. And the reason I want the shulker box there is that way the input tube is on either side like so. And that will allow us to have this smooth line all the way across. But that is really all there is to this shulker box loader. If you have any other questions or comments, of course, let me know down in the comment section below or join my Discord. Links are in the description. Materialists are in the description, as well as a like and subscribe button if you have not done so already. But this has been Rock Builder. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.